Welcome to a very special episode of Mighty Car Mods, continuing the Super Gramps saga. Uh, it's been pretty awesome so far. The car has been running brilliantly. It works, it powers, it's comfortable. It's just a brilliant, brilliant daily driver um, with a lot of power and a lot of practicality stuff we've covered uh, many times before. But right now, I'm on my way to Platinum uh, Smash Repairs because we are gonna be painting Supergrams. So we're gonna head down and see the boys there. We're gonna do a bunch of prep work on the car. I'm gonna be the year 10 work experience kid giving them a hand. Um, and we're gonna follow the process of how to paint a car. But we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently when it comes time to put the base coat and top coat on because we're gonna be painting this car live at Motor X at the show. So you can actually come down and see the car get painted and we'll be rolling it out to be presented to the world. So we've got a few weeks of work to do before then to get it all prepped and ready to go. And then we're gonna be painting Supergrams. Even though we'd replaced almost every moving part on the car, the body itself had done over 400,000 Ks in its life and it showed. It's had more hits than Elvis. It's scratched, it went for months or even years without being washed. And since I've owned it, it's been to the drags, the track, and even a mud speedway. The car needs to be totally stripped. That means bumpers off, glass out, doors off, all lights, rubbers, side skirts, and splash trays have to go. Doors have to come off so we can paint the inside and outside, as well as edge out the door jams. It's a lot more work than a door shut respray, but it means we can do a complete colour change. All the bolts are labelled and organised, then dents marked out so they can be repaired. The interior has to come out as it will be replaced as well. This is a way bigger job than anything we've ever done before on the driveway and getting a pro paint job means it needs pro preparation. The boys from Platinum worked on into the night and when we arrived the next day, it looked like this. Lewis had found every dent, every scratch and low spot and massaged and then filled them until they were totally flat. It's this preparation that can make or break a spray job, so he blocked the whole car back by hand before we'd even apply any primer. Mechanical Stegen managed to find me a JDM Legacy front bar with fog lights that would fit over our mad intercooler. It'll need some trimming, but it'll give the front of the car an awesome new look and has matching side skirts too. STI factory Enki wheels had worked brilliantly so far, but the offset is quite high. There's heaps of room in the guards to put some new wheels, but before we paint we're going to roll the guards so we don't have any issues with scrubbing later on when we put on some mad new wheels. We're going to paint the car in the same squid juice we made up for the original Gramps. We're using an entire house of colour system of base coat, reducer, clear coat and hardener. But first we need to get the car in primer so we've got a perfect base to work from.
We're at Motor X, one of Australia's biggest and most prestigious car shows. There's hot rods, street cars, top level show cars, and even Mod Max got a look in. So we're just getting set up for the show. The low bake oven is behind us. And uh, now we've just got to get Supergrams in there. Uh, the gate's open in about an hour's time, so we've just got to get set up. And then we're going to be painting live. Supergrams has been primed, blocked, and is ready for paint. Lowbake brought up their semi-trailer they've converted into a portable, fully functional spray booth, and today we're going to paint the car live at the show. Marty looks very, very excited this morning because Supergrams currently looks like this, and today and tomorrow it's basically going to be a finished car. It's going to be painted, of course, with our custom squid juice, which is going to be awesome. Um, and meanwhile, while this is getting painted, there's heaps of other mad cars and things to check out. We've got a Mighty Mod stand over there, Mod Max is over there. That's been a bit of a crowd favourite so far, there's people just getting nuts on that. Uh, it's going to be an epic day, but most importantly, Supergrams is going to be finished. I spied some new wheels over there, Martin. Yeah, they're, they're a surprise, but yeah, we're going to oh, see them soon. Nothing. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Some new wheels and rubber. Super Gramps getting squid juice all over it here at MotorX. It's going to be mad. The primer has already been blocked, so all that's left to do is mask up and then start laying on paint. Our expert painter Dean has been respraying cars for over a decade, and he owns a V8 Silvia Drift car, so is well qualified for the job. First up, we're spraying on a jet black base coat, which provides an even colour for the metallic to go over during the next step. A run in a base coat can ruin your entire paint job, so this has to be sprayed on lightly and evenly. The boys are busy painting on the uh, base coat and also the jet black uh, that the base coat goes over. So. More reducer, back into the booth. In about two hours time, the car will be rolling out, looking mad. Once our metallic base coat is on, it's time for clear. Thick but even coats will give us plenty of material to buff to a brilliant shine. But even off the gun, the color is looking awesome. So we've finished painting, the car is baking away in the oven, we're running out of light and the day's almost over, so tomorrow we're going to be putting the car back together live at the show. Um, got a lot of help, got Turbo Yoda, Mechanical Stick, Dose Vader, got Miles, uh, myself, Moog's going to be here also, so we're going to have a mad busy day of putting my car back together, it's going to be awesome. There's nothing quite like a car show to unite a crew of mechanic mates. With the paint left overnight to bake and cure, we can now start the long process of reassembling Supergrams. So we've got a whole bunch of parts that we're going to be putting on Supergrams. Mechanical Stick got us these uh, JDM HIDs that we're going to rub back and make look all shiny and we're going to put the car back together at the show so it should be looking if not completely like a car a lot more like a car than it currently does with its mad new paint these are basically out of an Aussie delivered series 2 gen 4 so oh, mine series 1 right series 1 yeah so this is a 06 to 08 tail light but they do fit directly and still lights under the garnish what's the difference um, basically just the color scheme the early ones have got a really big like, orange indicator Whereas these ones are clear and then run an orange bulb instead oh, cool. of running the clear bulb with the orange lens. So, Bad. yeah, still got your, your brake light and your park light, and then that's your indicator. And then the reverse lights will still be in the tailgate. Oh, cool. All right, so, well, let's stick them in. Let's jam them in, bro. Turn down for what? That do -do 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 so 
So these are the new wheels for Supergramps. Uh, of course, they're wrapped in our Bridgestone RE003s, which uh, we've had a lot of success with on the track on and on the street. But and on the mud, dude. <laughs> and on the mud, yeah. But here's the mad bit, though. Check this out. This is uh, Miles from the Mighty Car Mods Forum, made some custom mad center caps that say Super Gramps on them. It is actually true, we don't know if these are gonna fit the car or not yet, that's a fact. Um, but the boys are ready, keen and able, so uh, let's throw them on, Martin. It's gonna look mad, it's gonna be a transformation. Our original STI wheels have an offset of 55. The sweet spot for these cars on an eight to nine inch wide wheel is in the high 30s. We've wrapped them in Potenza RE003s in a 225 40 18 profile. The offset on these is plus 38, which means they'll fill up the guards but won't rub on anything when the suspension is compressed. The last step is to reinstall our front bumper. Painting in the back of a truck at a car show certainly has its challenges, but it was rad to be surrounded by friends and meet hundreds of fans, all keen to get a glimpse of our freshly painted car. But now it's time to head back to the garage via a wrecking yard to give the car its finishing touches.